name's Rebecca and I'm in Monks Abbey Primary School and I'm doing a Making History project. So, tell me some information about George. Well, George, um, George Robinson was a very naughty person when he was in the army. Um, he started and I think that he didn't really like it very, very much because he kept leaving and he kept coming back and he nearly got shot in it twice. Why was that? Um, because he kept leaving and coming back and they were just getting fed up with it. So Rebecca, tell me about his time in Hull before the um, war. So he got married in uh, St Silent's Church um, and uh, he lived in Dalton Street in Hull. Do you know anything about the church where um, he got married? I know it got knocked down but I'm not quite sure where. Okay. Um, well, he got married to a woman called uh, Mary Ann Ryan. Uh, what else did he do? Um, um, he went in the Navy and uh, went on lots of ships. Um, the, he, uh, he went on the HMS Panama. HMS Pe Pembroke uh, and lots of different other ships as well. Okay. a bit more about his time in the army. He deserted a lot. Do you know what normally happened to deserters when they left, when they um, ran away? They could have got shot. They could have been killed, couldn't they? Yeah. But this guy wasn't. Time and time again. Tell me a bit more about that. Um, so, um, he, he left uh, lots of times yeah. um, and um, they were thinking about shooting him okay. and that, but they decided not to. So what punishments did he um, get instead? He got put in prison. Uh, like when he was in the Navy then? Yeah. Right. Yeah. He got put in prison lots of times. Okay. Was he involved in any fighting? Yeah, he was in, he was in uh, Turkey and France battles. Right. What were they like, do you think? I don't think they were very nice. Uh, I think the, the Turkey one must have been been the worst I'm thinking. Why do you think that? Because I just think Turkey sounds like, like a big place. <laughs> it sounds like a big place. So he was involved in some fighting at a place called Gallipoli, which is a really famous battle in the Muddle One. So do you think that might explain why he kept running away? Mm. What would it have been like? It wouldn't have been very nice with... It, I think that he must have got a lot of headaches with all the guns and grenades. I think a headache would be the yeah. least of his troubles. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. Did he qualify for any medals? Did uh, he get rewarded? Yeah, he got uh, three medals. He got uh, the 1915 Star, uh, the British War Medal, and the Victory Medal. So even though he kept running away yeah. and deserting, he still got three medals. Yeah. Why do you think he got the medals? Um, because even though he was running away, I think that um, in some of the fights, he's actually survived them. Oh, and yeah. he's, he's done quite well because uh, in some of the pictures, you've seen loads of people, and he's actually survived with yeah. how many enemies there are that he's got to actually kill. I think that's a fair point. Why do you think he keeps leaving the war? Because um, he misses his family, um, and he doesn't like it in the war. Why do you think he doesn't like it all the time in the war? Because there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that he can see that die, and he might have a, like a friend or something that's died, or he might have a family member that's joined him and they've died. Do you think it will be muddy or 
wet or dry or I think grassy. It will be, I think it will be muddy and wet. So it'll be very squelchy and disgusting. Yeah. yeah, and I think they'll have to change a lot of their shoes.